So this is a Marie Callender's. I was about to offer an apology that I don't owe because I had one of these early, uh, a few months ago, a couple of months ago, not a few, a couple of months ago. And it turned out horrible. I made it in the oven thinking that for anything that was lacking, slow baking it would rectify that. It didn't work that way. This corn <laughs> is very chewy. I don't know where they do that at. And it's not sweet, very sweet at all. So, I don't know where they do that at, but the right type of corn and apples will make you jeopardize your dental work. This is not one of those corns. Because that is corn gum or some shit. So yeah, I had this uh, meatloaf, or I'm having this meatloaf, that the first time I made in the oven for Mr. came out very bad. <clears throat> Since it was for me this time, I was on some fuck it and stuck it in the microwave. It appears that The microwave was the way to go on it. And for as chewy as the corn is, I could just make my own side of corn. I could make little mini cobs. You know, you break the ear in half and you have little short serving size cobs. I needed this earlier and not this close to dinner time. This is exactly what I needed. I wanted something warm and flavorful. Comfort food. That's what meatloaf is, right? And I'm I'm actually enjoying that it's like <clears throat> old school synthetic meatloaf. Actually, that you about out, out of the store, but it markets itself as homemade, even though it's frozen. It's a frozen dinner. They needed to stop calling these frozen dinners in the 90s, though, because after the 80s, they were frozen lunches. Hardly enough to feed a hungry fly. I'm glad there wasn't more of that. Shoot, I'm scooping up this runny-ass mashed potato and gravy. That's a good flavor with that. Oh, this is what I was going to tell y'all. And I was, supposed to, I was supposed to do this before I ate. And I was supposed to go get the, let me go get the garbage, drag the garbage can in. And then bring some potatoes back while I'm at it so I can at least be putting the potatoes on as I run my mouth, right? The hell? <clears throat> it's because my neighbors still don't know what I look like. And that ain't gonna change today, boo-boo. <laughs> so my agent's been looking out for my gut health lately. And for good reason. Oh, I didn't bring the potatoes. Like I was saying, for good reason, right? Because my gut healthy needs some help and being cautious of soft potatoes. You know what? Why risk it? Why risk it? I just hate to be wasteful. <clears throat> Because there's a couple of them going kind of moldy in there. Yeah, they need to go. Because it's not like I don't have a whole new bag. Why do we do that? It's a survival mechanism. These aren't brand spanking fresh and new. Exactly. See, there's one in there trying to show out. There's always one. I wonder if I should put these in a paper bag. I'm going to throw this whole ass potato away. Throw the whole ass potato away. My lemon juice that I squeezed. Oh, that's what I was going to be talking to you about. Thank you, girl. 
goddess was like, girl, I don't mind you having all that other conversation that's sweet and everything. She was like, but can you, uh, can you teach them what I just told you? But I was low key like, no, not until I put some makeup on and brush my hair back. And she was like, I bet you will. I bet you will do what I do what the hell I asked you to do. And so here I am. Peeling potatoes like a sprit, like a slave. Doing my, biding my time in the clink. Cut that right out. It's like a whole, this wants to be bad and deep, be bad deep. I go deep, I goes deep too. I'm just thinking, I should have just baked them all. And then when they're done, just squeeze out the potato in them. <laughs> That sounds stupid, but somebody has to have done it. It's not that it didn't work well. It worked well, but it's like, I don't know. You know how the edge is, the blade is jagged like this one? On that one, it's like that jagged blade catches. Like may, like it maybe it was even done down that way, made that way deliberately so it could catch meat. Maybe it's a meat knife. You know, maybe that's the difference. I don't know. I have no idea. But what I do know is I haven't gotten to the point that she wanted me to get to with y'all. Respect your kitchen's cutting surfaces. Cut off all the outer edges of the onion. Because it looks like this onion's been in the fridge for a minute. And I don't want no smoke. So I'm going to take the tip like so and toss it because it's well aged and I don't know what it's going through in life right now you know don't bring your menopause to my meals aged onion but that's why we're gonna eat you today we're not gonna be wasteful and let you go all the way bad and have to throw the whole thing away that is not the solution we strive for to just throw the whole thing away i know y'all think i'm quick to give up on things and people and things that people do <laughs> but those are that's just for the sociopaths i really do have a lot of patience for people the goddess in me comes shines through and she will sit my ass down because my flesh self is what don't have the patience but my goddess when we're talking about a genuine person, she will sit my introverted ass down and be like, no, we're reaching out for this one. I'm actually going to drizzle olive oil across the top. I'm going to season this with basil. Then I can be cute. If I'm talking about one of goddesses' most nutritious, I'm not sure if this is a good thing. But goddess told me to do it, so... I don't know what that's going to do, but it's going to do it. So now I'm going to carry on with my seasoning as I was going to be doing as I intended. Oh, I forgot about my, my Kalaloo quinoa. I forgot what I even called it. Yeah, because I don't expect for it to change the flavor. And if it does, it's going to add to it because who doesn't love potato in their greens a lay of salt and my moringa medley which jacks up the nutrient content instead of cutting the edges out like I normally do the edges of the parchment paper I just folded them under the lid of this because this is not the lid that goes to this pot but i knew i would find something comparable at the damn thrift store and i did Boom. so and because it's just too small it leaves these corners open for so it can breathe as it bakes i'm also going to put green onions in there my green onions are they know what time it is outside, boy. That's what they're doing. Yes. 
But since I do have these, I'm going to go ahead and try to wait on my seeds to take off rather than putting these store onions in the ground as part of my garden. Because I don't know what they did with them. What they, I don't know what they be doing with their vegetables. I don't care how organic they told us it was. They told us a lot of stuff. Not that I'm discouraging you. I, I believe what you want to believe. I don't care. Just saying. I'd be questioning everything. It's just me. I did find out that this, these uh, blood oranges were bullshit. So, I don't think I did posted the video. So, I don't have to worry about it. That's why I hesitate to support motherfuckers. Especially colonizers. <laughs> Who are probably racist anyway. But yeah. So, these were supposed to be blood oranges. And if you saw me when I first uh, tasted them... But these were so good when I got them too. And then they have so few seeds. And I don't usually buy into that. Even though Dr. Sebi said it. Because Dr. Sebi, just like most people, led with semi-truths. Although I'd rather you follow him than any of America and Farm Co. <laughs> Point being, uh, for that part of the his teachings, I believe that there are some things that I believe there you can't you can't dictate what mother nature can and can't do she can make a fruit with no seeds if she want to it's just not generally the case right but for this particular strain of fruit being citrus that we know we understand it to have seeds so I get it in general I get it with that said, I tasted them and they were so good and so sweet. And I was like, but this redness to it, it tastes like they injected this with Hawaiian fruit punch. And so I was like, I'm not saying because I don't want to accuse anybody of anything. I don't know these people, right? Like that. You know, they could be doing a good thing. But I no longer believe I'm wrong. <laughs> they, they even changed the people. So the the meat doesn't even look all red anymore. It looks like they like the the picture here, where it looks like it's dyed almost. That don't even look like a natural graduation of color for something that would develop red meat inside on its of its own accord. <laughs> they fucking jacked this orange up. So yeah, yeah. I'm not. Uh, not caping for them holes no more. I'm gonna get a little cardboard box to put my potatoes in. But before that, I'm gonna freaking hydrate. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this. I don't know why I act like it's the first time every time. I know what it is. And then I always act surprised that it wasn't that bad after I'm done and it wasn't that bad. I'm thinking about just putting some meat in the potato. Just slicing it up in there and then and then topping it with cheese and then we could just go crazy with sour cream and bacon bits I can use up these bacon bits that's been in my in the cabinet forever as well the lean cuisine I mean the TV dinners I'm gonna call them TV dinners the TV dinners aren't the only thing that I had lined up for doomsday dinners. <laughs> what did I just, what was I just going up here for? It wasn't jello, it wasn't peanut butter, it wasn't taco shells, bacon bits. I literally just went to Goddess and was like, I'm high. Help me out with this. What was I just talking about? 
She was like, <clears throat> and I was like, I'm right here in the cabinet, but what could it be? I was just talking about doomsday dinner. What whole ass dinner is in this cabinet besides a peanut butter and whatever else I said? But it's not whole ass dinner. It's just doomsday, doomsday food additives. <laughs> So oh, yeah, I have this. Oh, this hasn't even been opened. Bacon pieces. That told me that I had some more up there. And here they are. Real bacon pieces. I wonder if they have an expiration date. And if I'm going to be too embarrassed to tell you what it is. Safety button pops if seal is broken. That should give you a hint. People don't say, put warnings about the safety seal no more. But yet, uh, colonized mines need instructions on how not to use industrial glue for hair gel. That better be a serial number and not the, the expiration date. If Either way, if it is, I am too embarrassed to tell you. I feel like that's the serial number. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, we could, we could polish this off. I'll put that on at the last minute. There was some reason I wanted a long jar like this. Why did I want a long jar like this? And could it be a jar that used to have bacon pieces in it? Because that's going to smell for a while. It smells like precious bacon drippings that have been reserved for years. <laughs> the finest bacon drippings. Let's see what Mr. is. They're gonna make me, they're gonna make me, mm -mm. nope. I did not ask for this. This is a up, another update I did not ask for. Supremacy is trash. Trash. <laughs>